so this side you are getting the root from different area maybe area 2 or maybe area 1 that's why you have here oia o means ospf ia is nothing but inter area inter means different intra means same intra if you get intra then it will be same but you are having inter inter means different area you are getting from different area so what root you are getting 10 okay so vlan 10 you are getting and 12 means in between here you are getting 13 means you are getting from this side and 20 means vlan 20 and 24 means you are getting from this side then if you see vlan 30 40 you are getting 30 40 these are the ospf and you have vlan 50 and 60 that you are getting from the rib r means rib if you see where is the R here, this one R, R stand for RIP, Routing Information Protocol, this one RIP. So this is a common router, in this router all the routes you are receiving. Because this is only the router way which is connecting to the OSPF and also to the RIP. So this router is receiving the RIP routes and also OSPF routes. So we need to do the redistribution inside this router. Not here, not here, not here. A router which is connecting two different routing protocol. We need to configure their RIP. Uh, we need to configure their redistribution. So how we will do the redistribution? You need to go inside the OSPF and you need to say redistribute, re rip subnet and you need to go inside the ospf you need to say redistribute ospf one metric whatever metric you want to define and you can define let me do here actually this topic is not there in the ccna but anyhow we will do here so you will learn something in ccnp you will have in detail so i will go in the global configuration mode now i need to do the redistribution i need to send the ospf route in the rip and rip root in the ospf so what i will do i will write here router rip first i go inside the rip then i will do redistribute i will say rip re redistribute what you need to redistribute you can press the question mark you will see here rip need to redistribute eigrp or ospf or rip or static what he need to do he need to redistribute ospf OSP what is the process ID 1 we are using 1 and then after that if you press question mark again they are giving matrix so what matrix we need to define so default we can give matrix like 1 so with this command we will redistribute the OSPF inside the rib we redistribute OSPF and now we will do the similar thing we will go inside the OSPF with this command router OSPF 1 and then same thing we will do is redistribute rip subnet that's all so why we are using this keyword subnet so even if you have the subnetting done it will redistribute so we need to do this one so this is simple only just let me write in the notepad here we where we are doing this one in the router phi because router phi is connecting the ospf and rip both so you need to go here in the OSPF and you will write here redistribute okay inside the OSPF you will write redistribute rip subnets okay and then you will go here inside the what we can say rip and you will write same thing redistribute what we will write OSPF one matrix whatever the metric you want to define example I given one that's all so here in the OSPF we are saying OSPF redistribute the RIP subnet and in RIP we are saying RIP redistribute the OSPF subnet so after that route will go from this side to this side and this all route will come here before that one you will not get the route here but now once we done that one you will get the route here so here if I write show IP root, you can see here I am getting the lot of roots here, R, R, R. 
so all the ospf root is converted converted into rib and you are getting all the rib roots here and if you check anywhere here all the rib roots will converted into ospf and you will get that here if i write here show ip root you will see here this one is coming from different routing protocol this one oe2 external type 2 this one means you are getting from different routing protocol so this 3 50 56 60 vlan 50 vlan 60 and this 56 are coming from different routing protocol they are coming from rib but they converted into ospf so you are getting oe2 oe2 is nothing but external type 2 what is external type 2 external type 1 you don't have in your syllabus in ccna and ccnp you will have in detail so now just remember when we redistribute we will have the ospf root in the form of oe2 means you will get this one like a coming from different protocol to the ospf and if you remember in this router if you go and if you check some configuration here like you remember if we told if any router which is converting like uh, what we told any router which is uh, con connecting two different routing protocol that router we told autonomous system boundary router so this is the router which is connecting two different routing protocols so we need to check you are getting that notification here or not let me check somewhere you will get here see here this one where we are we are in the router 5 we are inside the r5 this one <coughs> we are inside the router 5 when i write here show ip protocol here what i wrote here show ip protocol you are getting whatever protocol is running here rip is running and ospf is running and after that when i check here we are getting the notification it is it is an autonomous system boundary router what is the meaning of that one a router which is connecting ospf with different routing protocol is known as autonomous system boundary router abr we have who is connecting different area to area zero we have asbr a router which is connecting different routing protocol to the ospf is known as autonomous system boundary router so this router is a autonomous system boundary router we verify now after that you can ping anything it will work we connected the head office with the branch office and you have here 50.12 you can go here and you can ping it will work 50.12 i think 192.168.50.12